Hey, what's up guys? Grown the Hobby coming back to you guys with another Turn Back Tuesday break. Another fun one, I am sure. Because we're going to do another vintage baseball uh, throwback, Turn Back Tuesday, whatever you want to call it. Because it's, it's vintage-ish. It's a new product. It's a 2020 product. However, the cards are all going to be much, much older than that. They're going to be from 1952 to 1986. We'll show you guys. If you haven't checked out my first video on this, uh, check it out, please. Check this out. We got another one of these Universal Treasures uh, vintage baseball card kind of repack boxes, which are just awesome. I, I absolutely love everything from Universal Treasures. They do a very good job at repacking. One of the better companies for sure. Um, and these are going to be four uh, rack packs that are in here with these older cards. You guys will check it out for yourselves here momentarily. 140 total vintage cards are going to be in here. Uh, 52 to 86. The Big Hunt, you are looking for the 52 Mickey Mantle Redemption. There is one of those in here because they only make 10,000 of these boxes. And uh, it's 1 in 10,000 are your odds. I think you can actually... <coughs> Let's see if it's here somewhere. I think it is. Mm... One of... There you go. Yeah, the 52 Mickey Mantle right there. 1 in 10,000 boxes. So, yeah, they have one of those in this print run. That's their only odds there. Um, but you're going to be guaranteed a Frank Thomas rookie and a Ken Griffey Jr. rookie in here, among all the other awesome cards you can get. And these cards tend to be in very, very good condition and stuff like that. Um, I will put a link to their website in the description for you guys below. This comes in at a price point, a little less than $200. Um, and, guys, please follow the, the link if you're interested in buying one of these because... You pick these up on eBay, you're looking at like honestly between four and six hundred dollars because of the, the flippers that are just trying to buy this and resell it, which just blows my mind. Because if you go on their website, you can just pay, you know, cut out these stupid middlemen, you just buy it right from them, and you're paying, you know, their MSRP price of, uh, you know, like I think it's like 189 bucks or something like that. But all right, guys, let's get into this. Uh, the background cards, you guys know them by now. I always throw them up for the vintage baseball breaks. How can I not? Uh, I just find it tough to move away from these cards. Left to right, my PSA 3, 55 tops, Roberto Clemente rookie card. Center stage, my 1948 Leaf, PSA 2, Babe Ruth. And on the right side, my 1955 tops, Sandy Koufax, PSA 4 rookie card. So it's very hard for me to move on from those cards. They are awesome rookies. Let's get into this. The sooner I cut this open, the sooner the glare goes away. Because uh, I'm noticing quite a bit of glare. So we'll get that the heck out of here. I'm going to pull this cellophane off the box here, off camera, for you guys. So I don't knock the camera over and you guys don't have to deal with uh, just a whole bunch of busyness here on the screen. A lot of cellophane, but that's perfectly fine. They go the extra length by sealing this, and you guys can see is box number 968 of 10,000. So that nice little seal right there. Slit that, and we should be in. I'll show you guys what's in this, and then we'll pull these packs out and stuff, because it's just tough to get this all on camera. This is what it looks like inside, guys. Look at these cards. Wow. These are original cards, guys. Like I said, these are original cards. Four rack packs. I'm just going to pull these rack packs out and set these aside. We're going to do these one at a time. We're going to use a little bit of caution and, and care for sure, because you can just get some insane cards in here and I'm only going to put them on camera because I don't want you guys to cheat ahead and see any of these cards before their time but uh yeah guys grab the first rack pack I guess show you what they look like so they look like this a basic rack pack and at the bottom it's really cool they throw in uh, original looking some bazooka gum in this uh this is the Halloween edition so you got like a, a foot an amputated foot there gummy and stuff for the kids it's pretty cool but uh you got three tiers here for the uh, the rack pack and stuff. And we see we're starting with an 86 Eddie Murray. So I'm going to cut from the top and we'll start with those ones. And do these one part at a time. Because like I said, these cards are not garbage by any means. Uh, they are actually normally very, very well conditioned cards. Um, so there, we cut that with scissors. We'll slide this first ones out. And like I said, we got that 86 Eddie Murray right there to start us off. And you guys can see just it's amazing condition these cards are in for the most part. Um, but yeah, let's move on and see what the heck we can get in here, guys. We got an AL Championships, uh, 76, that is. Uh, Shambliss, dramatic, Homer decides it. And we got a New York Mets, 81 leaders there. Hubie Brooks, Mike Scott, so that'll be from 82 tops. Brian Downing for the White Sox there. 
Gonna be 70s. There's an R82 Mike Schmidt. Uh, Ray Foss, the Brew Crew. Greg Luzinski. There we go. And our 84. Well, you know what? I was going to. I was almost cheating. I get really excited here. So there you go. You guys can see that's the 83. Uh, anytime I see these future stars, though, they get me going because that's what you're looking for for some old school rookies for sure. But uh, nothing gigantic there. But Brad Mills, Brian Smith, and uh, Terry Francona. Eddie Murray there, the Orioles. That is the uh, 84. Yep. Carney Lansford, back to the 82. Johnny Lamaster, and that is our last part of that. Uh, first part of the rack pack. So some pretty cool old school cards there. Nothing absolutely insane or anything like that. And believe it or not, even though it's a repack, like I said, guys, you can pull some really, really big rookies out of here and some really, really big cards that have some serious value. Um, so, you know, don't just think you're just getting comments because you definitely are not. And I'm sure that I can prove that to you in this break because I'm sure you're going to see some really good cards uh, pulled out of here. So Boyhood... Photos of the stars, Jim Perry. I've not seen that one. That looks like that's maybe like 72, if I had to guess. Uh, we don't even have a date on there, but that looks to be like 72-ish, if I had to guess based on that design. And 86, Reggie Jackson. Tom Donahue. Uh, Gene Kleins. In action, Fred Lynn. Uh, Marty Patton, Jeff Leonard, Mike Willis, Jose Canseco, there you go, Jose Canseco in the 86 design, worth a couple bucks, and it's obviously, it's very good condition too, which is tough with the black bordering and stuff, the, the, the top's not, you know, perfect, but sure as heck isn't too bad at all, um, so not a bad card, Kirk Gibson, John Hoover, that USA Baseball, Rich uh, Dower. And that's the last part of that center part of that rack pack. So we'll do the bottom part here, and that will conclude the first rack pack. And again, guys, I know this is going to be a bit of a longer break, but I think you guys can appreciate it because it's old school cards you don't just get to see every day. It's a really neat product. I definitely like to take my time with this and appreciate the cards. All right, so here we go. Bottom part of this rack pack. End of rack pack number one. Let's get to it with the Reggie Jackson. Going to start us off there. And that, uh, it's an all-star card. That will be 1979 Reggie Jackson. Oh, there's an old school one. Look at that. Bo, Bo Belinsky for the cards. Let's see if we can turn that over and show you. 1968 Bo Belinsky. So there you go. Uh, next up, Tom Focus Bergmeier. Ellis Valentine, we're getting some really old school cards in here. Definitely mixed in. Uh, we'll get that Andre Dawson. I'll show you guys the back of that uh, Valentine 77. Uh, Jim Hughes. Henry Cotto. Ellis Valentine, looks like we've got Johnny Bench coming up. Yep, Johnny Bench All Star card. Another Johnny Bench All Star card. Uh, Dick Sharon in the 74. Uh, Jim Rooker for the Buckos there in the 75. So there you go. Pretty cool walk down memory lane, that first rack pack. But nothing absolutely insane out of it. Let's go to rack pack number two. You can see we're definitely going to get some really old school ones in this one. Looks like uh, some of the headers we got. Uh, looks like 1970 and maybe a 68 again. There you go. So we'll bring this first part out, and let's see what we got here. So we got Gene Garber, going to start us off, Gary Carter, uh, Bob Apodaca, uh, we're stuck there, sorry, that Gary Carter was right behind that, and then Tucker Ashford in the 79 design, Brian Kingman, uh, Jim Wynn in that 74 design, Leon Durham. Rick Manning, Steve Garvey, and then we got a Don Zimmer. That's pretty cool. Don Zimmer as player, as manager for the Red Sox. That is looking like a uh, 
Wow, really? 1966, I did not peg that card to be that old. That is really cool. Oh, you know what? No, okay. No, that's just his career. So there we go. Sorry, guys. I was like, what are you talking about? But there you go. Get that the focus. It's 78, 1978. That explains that. I was like, holy crap. But still, that's really cool. 78 uh, tops. Don Zimmer. Manager player card there. Not seen that card before, so that's pretty neat. All right. Let's cut into the center tier of this rack pack. Let's see what we get. Hit the camera there, guys. Slide that on out of here. You guys should recognize this from uh, the 2020 Tops Heritage design here. And we get the focus for that Billy uh, Grabarkowitz. There you guys go. You guys can appreciate and see. We've got Wade Boggs coming up next, but there you go. And that's 71 design. Pretty cool. So there's your Wade Boggs that we were talking about. And a twins card there, Gene Mock manager, Tom Seaver, 986, Joe Morgan, Gary Gray, Orioles team card with Earl Weaver, the manager there, and that looks like to 75 if I had to guess. Looking to be, yep, 75. Focus, there we go, Ray Knight. There's our Ken Griffey Jr. rookie card. We are guaranteed that. We're guaranteed a Frank Thomas in here as well. So you guys can check out the back of that. I'll show you guys. And that's in the traded, obviously, for the 89 tops traded. It's not Tiffany or anything like that. And for anybody that's curious, I'll see if I can... I guess that's as good a focus as we'll get. You see those two little stars to the left at the very bottom of the card, to the left of uh, uh, the tops, uh, you know, the year 1989, stuff like that. The two stars just mean the, the tops traded. Um the Tiffany's not going to have that. It's going to have a totally different, you know, glossy kind of high def look to the cards and stuff. If you're ever looking for those, we got a John Montague, Dave Rosama, and then we finish with a Tom Seaver in action card. So pretty cool. Still looking for the kind of the big card that just pops off the page here. Um, I've seen some really, really big pulls out of this product before. From other breakers and stuff like that, uh, and I'd really like to just get one really nice old school pull, you know, nice uh, Nolan Ryan rookie would be nice in any grade. All right, because I have seen them pulled before out of these. Uh, there we go. Sorry guys, I don't know what's going with the focus. Trying to focus on the background cards. Uh, Rick Rosnowski, Tom Sievert, Roger Nelson. That's an old school one for sure. Reggie Jackson. Juan Bonilla. Stan Pappy. Frank Pastor. Goose Gossage. Pete Lecoq. Interesting name. Uh, Jim Cott or Kate. Not 100% sure. Nice Keith Hernandez. Early on there, and a Larry uh, Sorensen. So there you go. It completes rack pack number two. Two more rack packs to go. We'll see what we get. I know we're going to get a really old school one in here. I think this is going to be 56 tops. That's my guess, 56 tops. I see some 75 tops, and it looks like 70. So this is going to be some really old school stuff. So here's our 70. Uh, Ted Sizemore, cup card there. Ron Kittle, uh, Kyle Ripken All Star card there. Mike Hargrove, Steve Garvey Record Breaker card. Jim Mason, Bucky Dent, Jim Morrison, Reggie Jackson, Lou Pinnell. Pete Rose, 81 highlights, and a Ken Forsh. And finishes us off in the top tier of that rack pack. The center tier, which is going to start with a 75. Looks like Terry Forster. Let's see what we can do on that one. All right. Slide that out. So 
there's our 75. Terry Forster. Tony Gwynn. Mike Dunn. Mike Paul. And again, I think that's the 72. If I had to guess. Yep, 72 design. Pete Rose. Record breaker card. Don Hood. Donnie Baseball, Don Mattingly. Dave Parker for the Buckos. Jesus Vega. Roland Office. Interesting name. Carlton Fisk. There you go. And a Mike Torres finishes off in that tier. Bottom tier coming up. Like I said, I think we've got an old school here. It looks like a 56, I think. 56 tops maybe starting us off. Um, we're still going to pull a Frank Thomas uh, rookie card here from uh, 90 tops. So that'll be coming. I don't know if it's in this tier or it might be in the last rack pack. But there you go, guys. Ralph uh, Lumenti for the Washington Senators. That is nice. That is really old school. And I'll show you guys the back of that card. Oh, no. That was completely off. I don't know why I thought that was 56. It's actually 59. So 59. Still really cool, though. 59 tops. Uh, Ralph Lumenti. For the Washington Senators. Pretty cool. Alright, Jim Wynn. Mike Schmidt in the 86 again. Dave LaRoche. Burt Blylevin. Bob Horner. Rick Burleson. Uh, Denny Martinez. Don Sutton. White Sox batting leaders. Dennis Lamp. And uh, Seth Lemon. And a Bruce Sutter All-Star card finish off the bottom tier of that Rat Pack. So, one Rat Pack to go. We know we're going to get a Frank Thomas in here. I see we're going to get some other old school stuff. Looks like, uh, oh yeah, we got a couple of nice ones in this one for sure. Looks like a 68 Tops will be in here. And I got a Nolan Ryan. They'll be coming up. I'm not going to tell you guys the year. I'll let you guys see it as it comes. It's not in this first tier. But you guys will see here momentarily. So, Mike Schmidt starts us off with that all-star card. Joe Pittman. Joe Levito. Ken Daly. Neil Allen. Dale Murray. There's our Frank Thomas, I think, is going to be coming up after this uh, Sparky Lyle. Looks like a 90 tops. There you go, Frank Thomas. Number one draft pick card. That, uh, again, is guaranteed in these boxes, guys. You guys can see the 89, or I'm sorry, the, well, it says 89 Junior, but it's 90 tops. So, yeah, guys, know that. Again, uh, I'll remind you, if you buy one of these boxes, you get the Ken Griffey Jr. and the Frank Thomas rookie guaranteed in each and every one of these boxes. Uh, Wilbur Howard. Bob Ojeda. Roy Smith. Now we'll do it for that tier. Two more tiers to go. This one, we're going to start with a nice Nolan Ryan. Not his rookie. I will spoil it and tell you guys that. But still, a Nolan Ryan. You know, obviously, we'll take it. So there you guys go. There's our nice Nolan Ryan. I'll show you guys the back of it, too, because I know some people get curious about that in the 84. There you go, Nolan Ryan. In the 84 design, we got another 70 here. Uh, Jim Hart. Uh... Charlie Moore was behind it. And Lonnie Smith. Minnie Minoso, record breaker, 1976. Oldest player to hit safely. Let's see what that says, because I am a little curious here. Uh, let's see, oldest player. Holy smokes. 53 years old, he hit. Holy smokes, with a single for the Washington Senators on October 6, 1929. Wow. 53 years old at that time. That is interesting. Jim Hunter. Jerry uh, Dubzinski. Frank White. In action, Tony Perez. Gary Carter. Tim Raines. Bobby Floyd. I think that's the last one. Yep, Bobby Floyd. So we got one more tier to go, guys. Bottom tier. We'll see what we can pull out of this. Hopefully one decent card at least. I mean, they're all decent cards, don't get me wrong. But uh, hopefully one 
really cool card. It just makes this box pop. Although for me, it's a victory either way, guys, because this is a fun, fun break. These are a very cool product. Joe Horner is going to start us off, and that is going to be 1968. Yep, 68, just like I figured. So there you go, guys. I know it's kind of sideways, but 68 Joe Horner. We got an Eddie Murray again. Quite a bit of Eddie Murray's we've been pulling today. Uh, Glenn Brummer. Yankees team card here with manager Dick Hauser. Bob Montgomery. Jim Palmer. Andre Dawson. Warren Brewstar. Pedro Guerrero. Daryl Porter. Tony Perez. And a Ken Hodges in the 75 design, guys. So there you go. Some really cool cards, though, nonetheless. I hope you guys enjoyed the stroll down memory lane. Uh, the oldest card I want to say that we pulled today, guys, was this 1959 Ralph Lumenti for the Washington Senators. Definitely not something you see every day. Uh, then the two guaranteed cards that you're going to get in every one of these boxes, which is really cool and nice. The Frank Thomas 90 uh, tops rookie card there uh, to go with the Ken Griffey Jr. Um, from the traded design there in the uh um sorry guys the the 89 traded ken griffey jr and stuff and you guys can see you know the centering's not bad and stuff like that you know corners aren't bad cards are in really good shape and all honesty i mean some of these are definitely gradable um so really not a bad product guys i enjoy this a heck of a lot uh you will definitely see more of this on here please do me a favor click that like button uh subscribe share and click the bell icon as well to be notified of future videos lots more of them coming to you guys for sure we'll keep these turn back tuesdays going um and again i'm going to do some more of these uh universal treasures because i love this stuff this is really cool stuff um you know because to open original packs it's insane you can't do it this is as close as you're going to get <coughs> for most of us collectors and stuff so it is definitely fun ripping into this and pulling the old cards um, but yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed the break as much as I did. Like I said, as always in the description below, you guys can find my email address as well as a mailing address. I will also put the link to Universal Treasures if you guys want to pick up one of these boxes for yourselves. Again, save yourselves the money. Just buy directly from them. Don't go on eBay. Pay the secondary market price, which is just insane. Just buy directly from them. And I would advise you to buy them now because, again, they're very limited. Only 10,000 boxes. So, you know, it's not... Uh, not a very abundant product and stuff, and they absolutely do sell out of their products. So, um, yeah, check it out, guys, please. Other than that, though, have a great day, a great night, wherever you guys are at, and we will see you guys next time.